In Nina, the city's water department reports elevated levels of lead have been detected. The city gets most of its drinking water from Lake Winnebago. Tonight, crews say the cause appears to be from older pipes and fittings that connect homes to the city's main water line. NBC26's Eric Crest has more on what needs to be done to fix the problem and keep people safe. For the fourth time in seven years, Nina water supplies have tested positive for lead. And the root cause is the lead pipe in the system. Homes built before the 1960s are likely to have lead pipes, and just over 2,000 lines of the cities are set to be replaced over the next 20 years. I'm guessing that, you know, there's probably a majority of people out there that don't even know that they have lead uh, as a pipe serving their home. Every year, the city spends about $140,000 trying to curb the problem, but homeowners and the city both have about the same amount of lead pipes. You don't know where the lead pipes are. Um, the lead is underground. Now there's no real way to smell or taste lead in your water. But if you are concerned, what the medical professionals will tell you is that you should run cold water for at least a minute and they emphasize the cold. That can prove to be a good way to flush that line out before you utilize it for, for drinking or eating. So while the process of replacing the lead infrastructure below continues, the majority of traces of lead are being found in homeowners' pipes and not the city's. In Nina Eric Crest, NBC26. Now experts say if you are concerned about lead in your water, have your water tested and then talk to the city about potential discounts to replace the lead piping that's leading to your home.